Yes, welcome to DC Economics. So today we are going to look coherently on how we can solve net present value. What is net present value? Net present value is the difference between the present value of net cash flows from an investment discounted at the required rate of return and the initial investment out rate. So under net present value, this is among the methods that is applied when we try to evaluate if we can undertake the project or should not undertake it. So under measuring of project net cash flows, we tend to forecast expected net profits from the project and we actually estimate the net cash flows directly. So net present formula is given by taking out the city, summation of city divided by one plus R raised power of T minus C O. Uh, actual, what is city? City represents out the net cash flow generated by the project at time t, and CO represents out the initial cash outlay on a project. So, what is any? Any, this is the number of life, life of the project, life of the project, and K is what we refer to as required rate of return. So, you may ask yourself, under net cash flow generated by the project, what are the net cash flows we are speaking about? The cash flow can be uh, what is known as the outflow and the inflow. So under net cash flows, we tend to examine the receipt from sales of goods and services and the receipt from sales of physical assets. Cash outflow, after we tend to look on expenditure on materials, labor, and indirect uh, expenses for manufacturing. So this includes sellings and administrative inventory and taxes. So how can we evaluate the net present value? Net present value method is consistent with company's objective of maximizing shareholders' wealth. So a project with a positive net present value will leave the company better off than before the project and the other thing be equal. So the market value of the company shares should increase. So positive net present value imply that the company benefits and the type kind of a project that is undertaken should continue. So let's look on decision rule of net present value methods. You should accept a project of its net present value if it is positive. And if the net present value is negative, now we should not accept the project. So when the project, uh, when the project net cash flows are discounted at the required rate of return. Let's look quickly go to example. Now we require to calculate the net present value given the following data. We have A investment of uh, 9,000 US dollar and B net cash flows of 5,090 and 400 and 500 and 400 at the end of year one, year two and year three respectively. So solution. Now from uh, the formula of net present value is given by taking the summation of what net cash flow generated by the project at time t and divide by one plus required rate of return raised power of t whereby t represent out the lifetime of the project so when we check out net present value for the first year that is 5090 divide by bracket one plus required rate of return that you are provided is 10 percent the required rate of 10 uh, of return is 10 percent so we plug in that would be 0 0.1. When you take 10% divided by 100, it will give you 0 0.1. So let you plug in here 0 0.1, the power of 1, then plus the second year, that is 4,500 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1, the power of 2. For the third year, we plug in here again the net cash flow, that is 4,000, then plus 1, 0 .0, 0 0.1, the power of 3. Now we minus what is known as the initial investment outrate that is 9,000 US dollar. So the net present value will be given will be equals to 4,627 plus 3,719 plus 3,005 and minus 9,000 that is initial investment outrate. So the answer will be equals to 2,351. So this kind of net present value is positive. So the using at discount rate of 10% net present value will be equals to 2,351. 
So since our net present value is positive, now we may conclude that we are set the project. So the project may continue and we should undertake that kind of project because it's beneficial for the company or any firms uh, that is uh, actually operating. So after saying so, let's uh, that's mark our end. Welcome to DC Economics. Uh, let not forget to subscribe and watch another videos. Bye bye.